the thing with Cristiano Ronaldo is that you just have to make him feel like the number one. Between Juventus and Ronaldo, it was love at first sight. Make him feel special, make him feel wanted. He was frustrated with the results, with the team. He wants still to be treated as the superstar of the team. All this happened because of the reason. The reason is I'm unbelievable inside the pitch. 2021 Ronaldo, it's a cliche that he's seen there, done it, bought the t-shirt, but he really has. He can score in every moment of the game from any part of the pitch. He is one of the best strikers in the world still. It's Cristiano Ronaldo, so you have him, you have at least 30, 35 goals a year. He can finish in every way you can imagine. He scores rockets from outside the area, which we remember from his first stint at Old Trafford. He can score tap-ins, you know, he's got the poacher's instinct. Opponents are afraid of him and teammates trust him to resolve every situation. We know he's a superhuman, but he is still human. Over the last three seasons, there's definitely been a drop-off in his uh, high-speed runs, his sprints into the danger area, which again is normal with his age. He definitely rations his runs, and I think that is to be expected. He's not the player he was five or ten years ago. He knows it, but he wants still to be treated as the superstar of the team. He would like to play every crucial game. He would like not to be subbed off in any game he starts. And he wants to take every free kick, even if he scored only one out of 70 in three years at Juventus. His inclusion dictates the way that the team has to play. Massimiliano Allegri was able to find a good balance in his first year of Ronaldo in Italy. Then it was really difficult for Maurizio Sarri and Andrea Pirlo because both asked him to play as a central striker. And he said, no, he didn't want to do that. Anyone could see that he was not happy, especially on the end of last season. If you watch him close enough during the games, you could see that he was frustrated with the results, with the team. He was showing that too much. The total balance of the team, also the quality and the personality of the other players uh, is important. And I think that at Real Madrid, he had players with more quality and more personality than at Juventus. I think that with Jadon Sancho, Marcus Rashford, Eddie Cavani, Paul Pogba, he has the quality of the players he wants to play with. They will need to come up with a system which suits Cristiano Ronaldo. He wants things done a certain way and he would like probably to be on the end of as many moves as possible. You really do have to construct a side around him. Manchester is still in my heart. I think when the people treat you unbelievable, you should never forget. I think the trick for anyone who is managing, who is coaching Cristiano Ronaldo, is to make him feel really important, but just also transmit to him that he has to be a team player and that when things aren't going well, that's another way to show that he's a superstar by helping those around you, lifting those around you. And I'm sure Solskjaer and his staff will be saying that to Cristiano Ronaldo, giving him that responsibility which at this stage of his career, hopefully he'll embrace. He is uh, a leader, not only when he's playing, but also when he's training. I think that in Manchester, the relationship he has with Alex Ferguson, with all the fans, could be easier for him to accept to play more as a central striker, as he does in the national team. And this could be the great upgrade for him and for Manchester United too. Thanks for checking out the BBC Sport YouTube channel. Remember to give this video a like and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss an upload. See you soon.